The old templates for the aluminum template holder were not quite the quality that Panda Router had insisted on. Max Sheldon at Panda Router had new models made, expanded on the available sizes, and added the markings and steps for wider mortises. We compared the old template versus the new template in another video. We had complained that the old 10 mm follower kind of got stuck in the track for the mortises on the new template. So Max sent us a new follower that has a bearing guide on it. And that's the same 10 mm size. He said that that would be sized properly to fit inside these new templates. And sure enough, it goes all the way to the bottom and rolls no problem. This one, the old follower that has no bearing on it, uh, tended to get stuck and would only go into the widest setting. I'm going to use this piece of Doug fur as my test piece. I'll set the height of my mortise according to the thickness of the board. I'm going to use the old style template with the fixed 10 millimeter follower first. I've set my depth to three quarters of an inch for this test mortise. The fixed follower works fine in the old template guide, but it's too big for the new template. So we'll be using the 10 millimeter bearing guide follower that was provided for us. I'm going to make three test mortises with each of the step settings of the new template. Middle setting. This will be on the narrowest setting. New template with a new follower on the widest setting. One of the things I found interesting, this is the old style template and old follower. These are progressively from the wider to the smaller. And the old width is 1.3. 388. The new template on its widening setting, widest setting came to 1.397. The center setting 1.360 inches and the narrowest setting at 1.340. So you can get quite a bit of variety from widest to narrowest. For the width of the mortise itself, the slop is a little bit different. Thought that was kind of interesting. On the old style tenon, it comes in right at, this is using a 3 8 inch bit, 0 0.40 almost, it's 0 0.3987. 97. The width on the widest setting for the new template is the same at 0 0.394 inches. The middle one comes in a little bit narrower than that at 0.391 and the smallest narrow setting comes in at 0.389. So even the slop gets narrower as you go into the template on the newer templates. I'm guessing either the template itself has a very slight wedge to it or just the fact that the follower is buried deeper into the template groove, it gives a more accurate cut. I brought in the setting for the uh, new template by one mark. And you can see that when I insert that now into the widest setting, get a really nice snug fit, one that is t tough enough to lift up the piece of wood just the way it is. and quite snug to come out. I can't get it into the second notch because the width is just a little bit off. It's a little bit too narrow for this particular tenon. 
So then that way I'm able to fine tune what I need. The conclusion we came to was that the steps on the inside of the new templates don't necessarily correspond to the markings on the outside. But we did find that the second marking might correspond with the narrowest marking on the inside for the thickness of the tenon, but that the tenon itself was a little bit too long. And in order to get it to fit in, we actually had to sand it down a little bit so that it would fit into this uh, mortise that we drilled with the smallest setting on the inside of the template. Now it's a good fit. Don't rely on the markings to match up with the inside. And also don't assume that the length is going to correspond to the thickness. You wanna make sure you get the thickness right. You can always shave down the length if that doesn't quite fit. We hope you found our template follower follow-up a little bit useful. And thanks again, Mac, for your dedication to uh, great customer service and for keeping an eye on that quality assurance.